Now that you know what the draw inside mode button does for a piece of artwork, I'm gonna take it a step further and show you what the draw inside mode does for logos, more complicated shapes. So here in Illustrator, I'll go to File and Open. I'll come down to my Chapter 9 and Draw Inside Logos. And I'm going to start with number 0 for practice only. Okay, and the reason why this is for practice is because I have set it up to work already for you. Okay, notice how the M, A, R, V, E are all connected. The L is separate. But when I click on the L, it selects the entire word. And that's because I have prepped this ahead of time for you. Okay, so here is the trick. When I click on the word, all I have to do is click draw inside. There's a set of brackets around the word. I literally click once on the photo, say edit, cut, edit, paste and it knows to paste it inside the brackets. When I double click outside I can zoom in to see the results and you'll notice now that I've already done that I don't like where the photo landed like Wolverine's face is landing right behind this red bar. I don't like that. So again when you do draw inside whether it's drawing inside an alien's head or drawing inside a logo like this, you have made a clipping mask. You cannot take your black arrow and try to move the photo. You'll just tear the whole thing apart. So if I wanted to move what's inside here, I take my white arrow, click, and you'll notice when I click and drag, it's still going to pull it apart. So I'll go to edit and undo that. So here is the trick. With your white arrow, you click on the photo, and there is a button right up here. The one on the left says edit the clipping path, edit the word. The one on the right says edit the contents, the photo that's inside that word. So when I click here, now I can see the outline of the photo. I'll use my arrow keys on my keyboard just to nudge the photo over a little bit. Kind of like that. So I'm seeing Daredevil and Hulk and Wolverine and a bit of Spider-Man and Iron Man. Okay, and that looks good. But the other thing to keep in mind is when you put photos inside of type, it makes the type hard to read. So I'm going to take my black arrow, click on the photo which is actually selecting the word click on the stroke and I will make the stroke white okay right down below is my stroke panel maybe I'll bump that up to three and now I can read that word quite clearly okay so I'm not gonna save this one again that was for practice it worked because I set it up to work so I'm gonna close that no need to save it. And I'm going to go right back to file and open again. Right back to draw inside logos. And now I have Ghost Rider logo. Okay, the difference here is when I click on the G, it is separate from the rest of the letters. The word Marvel worked because I grouped it or set it up so that Illustrator will recognize all the letters as one word. Here, it's recognizing each individual letter. Okay, so here's the problem. When I click on one yellow letter, draw inside is available because it only works on one shape. But I have 10 letters. As soon as I hold shift and click on the next yellow letter, draw inside is not even going to work anymore. It's not available. And I still have eight more letters to pick. So now I'm kind of stuck. Okay, Draw inside is for one shape. This is 10 separate letters. I have to trick Illustrator into somehow thinking this is one big logo, not 10 separate letters. And here's how you do this. 
I'm going to click once on the yellow G, go to Select Menu, Same Fill Color. Select all the yellow letters. But again, these are 10 separate yellow letters. Some of the letters have openings, and an object with an opening is called a compound path. So what I'm going to do is go to Object Menu, Compound Path, and release that from all the letters. And then I immediately go back to Object, Compound Path, and make one big logo. Look how Draw Inside is now available. I click it. There's my brackets around my logo, not the 10 letters, but the logo. Click once on the photo, edit, cut, edit, paste. Double click outside, and there's my logo with Draw Inside. Pretty basic. That was it. You're going to save this. Last name, first name, Ghost Rider logo. Okay. Once that has been saved, you can close it up and there's one more to try out. So I'm going to close this. I'm not going to save it on my demo tutorial here. But if you were working in my class, save it as last name, first name, Ghost Rider. Then you can close it up. And I'm going to do that one more time. File and open inside draw inside logos i'll pick file number two the movie logo for the shining i want this picture of jack inside the word shining but again these are individual letters the difference is none of them have openings and that doesn't matter okay you still have to trick illustrator into thinking this is one big word not individual pieces or individual letters and you do that with a compound path so when i select the s draw inside is available but when i select the word draw inside is not available so i select the word object compound path and i make one big word draw inside is now available click it there's my brackets, click once on the photo, edit cut, edit paste. Double click outside, and there you go. Just save that as last name, first name, shining. And we can move on. That's how you do draw inside with one object versus multiple objects. When they're multiple objects, multiple letters, you got to create a compound path. That's just the trick in the program. I didn't make the program. I just know how it works. And now, apparently, so do you. See ya.